So what's good, y'all, man? You already know it's your boy, Red City Boy 23 coming to you with another cook session, baby. So, man, you know, it's been a while since I uploaded a video of me just straight killing niggas, you know what I mean? So I was out here playing past six, just killing niggas, you know what I mean? Say so, nah, but, um, you know, I, I wanted to upload a video because it's been a while since I've uploaded a video of me just mixing, killing people, and I haven't done it because, you know, I kind of took away from me when I couldn't put the instrumentals that I wanted to put in my videos. And the reason why I couldn't is because of copyright claims, copyright claims. Um, so it really bugged me out, you know, and it kind of got discouraging because that's what I love to do. I love making mixes. Like I'll talk to y'all for a little bit, throw, throw a little beat in there. You know what I mean? Hit you with some mixes, throw some fire. You know what I mean? You, y'all know, man. But, um, I want to tell you guys, man, people been asking me, what's the best position to make or what do I think is going to be the best position in 2K17? I'm going to tell y'all right now. I think the shooting guard is going to be the position to be because mainly almost every year the athlete cover is always the person to be like 2k 15 small forward was the position 2k 16 point guard is the position you know what I mean and then um then you got Kobe you got Kobe at, at you know the main lead in the whole thing with his legendary case or whatever so I'm gonna say shooting guard but this is what I want to tell people too is that I can't really say that because throughout the year, you know, we find the best position, right? Like this year, everybody found out the 6-2 was the best position before patch 6. 6-2 was the one that could dribble and stuff like that. Then boom, we hit patch 3 around patch 3, patch 4. Everybody's making big players. Everybody's hitting 6-5, six, 6-7s, six, you know. Everybody's switching it up. So there's really, I'm not going to sit there and say that's my opinion. I think shooting guard is going to be the best position next year. But... I can't really say, you know, that that's going to be the main position because, you know, me, I'm a point guard. I love being a point guard, you know. Um, but I really, really hope that, you know, we. I hope they fix the attributes because I said it once before. I didn't really think they needed an attribute cap. You guys probably do. Some of you guys agree. Some of you guys don't. The reason why I say I don't feel like you should upgrade i mean you should have done that the only reason the attribute cap was necessary was because the defense was terrible now in 2k16 you have great defense the offense is just off after you know the offense is just off especially after past six so if you get a good offense to like you know balance out the defense and the offense and be able to make it even you got a great game like a lot of people were saying yo we get 2k15 ball handling with 2k16 defense it'll be the game of the year all right um, another thing I was talking about, bro, I wish, I mean, I, I miss fives at the park, man. I really miss fives at four. I mean, bro, like people were talking about the whole rep thing and all that, man. I really like, we didn't have no rep in 2K14 and the park was dope. And I also think they need to bring back, you know, them, um, them like little, uh, them little like pat, like little, like what the fuck is it called? Name plates. The name plates we had in 2K14 when we could like, whatever we had our name on a player, it would be on a name plate. So like we basically had our own clans and shit like that. I think that would be dope if they brought that back. You know, there's a lot of things they could do, man, that, you know, all we know right now is that we getting custom jump shots and that, you know, there's going to be a lot of, there's going to be a lot of, you know, um, we're going to have a lot more control of our player. But let me, what do you guys think they could add? Like, what do you guys think they could add to make the game better? Because every year we say, what can 2K do to make the game better? And they, you know, they outdo us. But this year was like, you know, 2K15, this this year was, uh, it was, uh, yeah, I know, man. It was, uh, uh, yeah. But um, let's just, you know, let's just see what happens for the future. You know what I mean? Um, I feel like another thing is that 2K doesn't have any competition. Like, live sucks. So I feel like that, you know, that lets 2K like hold back and chill. Like they don't gotta drop a trailer as soon as possible. They don't gotta let people know to buy their game because why? Because live is trash. So we all know that. But that's my video for today, y'all. Let me know what y'all think. I'm about to stream right now, so tune into my stream. When you watch my video, you're gonna see on the bottom left. As soon as you start, it's gonna say live streaming on Twitch. You click that, it'll take you right to my stream. So tune in, y'all, and let's talk. Let me know what y'all think. It's your motherfucking boy. I already know. Oh my god, no! It's the sharp shooters. Lay, lay your ass down, and you know if you can't find me, that means your jump shot is broken. 2K17, the takeover, baby. We here.